support us on Patreon to get access to member-exclusive benefits and first dibs on the latest Manchester United news. Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And it's Bruno Fernandes, the Bruno Fernandes update. But um, before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash that notification button for the latest Manchester United news. Um, so, Bruno Fernandes again, guys. Um, basically, um, is this deal going to happen? Is this deal on or off? Um, it's the 25th, 26th now. We have basically less than a week um, to get this deal done. Um, and there's been mixed messages coming out from Portugal and from the English press regarding whether this deal will be done. Now, the latest news, certainly from, um, from Sky and BBC, so our UK outlets, was that a big stumbling block has always been regarding the transfer fee of Bruno Fernandes. That Ed Woodward, I said in previous videos, that Ed Woodward and the Glazers are not prepared to um, fork out what would be a, a £60 million um, equivalent um, for Bruno Fernandes uh, in, this, in, this, in, this, in this window. They're just, they're just not, they're not prepared to do it. Um, now, reports from Jogo now, um, so I, the Portuguese press are saying, well, Sporting Lisbon are confident that basically Manchester United are going to come back to the table and increase their price. So much like Harry Maguire and even wan Bissaka in the summer where United weren't going to be taken for a ride, and then towards the end of the transfer window, they essentially said, yes, OK, we'll pay the fee. We'll pay 50 million. We'll pay 80 million in the case of Maguire, you know, um, irrespective of the threats that those clubs uh, gave Manchester United. And so there is a growing um, idea that certainly from the Portuguese press um, that Manchester United will cave in and will pay the money for the Bruno upright. This is, this is in compounded by the fact that according to um, as in Manuel, which is also another Portuguese outlet, um, Bruno Fernandes has been actually been left out of the squad, be left out of the upcoming squad, um, the coming game on Monday, basically just regarding this issue with his future, possibly the next two games even, um, until the, basically his future is decided. Um, so this is where, so this is what it is, you know. So is it still going to get done or not? And right now. And I put a poll out. Let me know. Do you think this Bruno is going to be is going to be done or not? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the polls. But if I'm honest, I'm 50-50 really with it. Clearly, 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 we have the evidence that Manchester United are wanting to get this deal done. It's it's too big of news for to, to want to be, be done much like Erling Haaland. Um, however, Manchester United are clearly cheapskates. Um, and it just seems that they don't want to pay um, the money. Um, so if we don't want to pay the money, there's a very good chance that we could leave this transfer window without signing any players. Now, it'll be a damning, damning verdict on the board, the club, um, and this just this entire regime. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, Yant X, and smash that notification button for latest news. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.